This is Michael Wu from eProgram.com. I'm going to talk about what is a PID control and how can we do a PID control in Simulink. In different situations, we want to change different uh, parameters. Sometimes we want to change the KP, sometimes we want to change the KI, sometimes we want to change the KD. Assume you have already know how to build a second order um, equation in Simulink, and this is the equation. We have already built this up, a second order uh, Simulink block. Now, we search for the PID block in the Simulink um, library browser. We put that into a Simulink. We replace the F1, which is the false input, with the PID controller. This time, we're going to change that. The input is not false. We want to change the input to be X. We want the desired X input to, to give a certain amount of force into the system and then drive the system. Now, as we know, the input of the uh, PID controller is the error function, which is the desired uh, X value, subtract the measured X value. The desired X value is the step input this time. The measured X value is the output, which is the output connector to the scope. We take that value to the, to, to the uh, subtraction function. And then put the output of the subtraction to the PID controller. In order we can see two curves in one scope, we need to use this MUX connector. The desired input would be one of the, the curve into the scope. The other input to the scope would be the measured um, X value. The measured X value at the same time will go to um, the subtraction, the X error will come out, the X error will get into the PID controller. The output of the PID controller is equal to the force value, the force input value. And that will put back to the second order system which is replace the original F, and that is the new force command. And you can see the equation is MA equal to F minus KX minus BV. At this time, you can see for the default PID value, it does not close to uh, what we want. The desire is a step function. The output is just far away from, from what is the target response. So we change the proportional value to 10, and you can see even it is getting closer, but it is still not able to close to the desired value. So we change the, keep changing the proportional value. Okay, what you can see in here, you can see it is still not able to reach it, that is called static error. If you want to improve the static error, you can change the I value in your PID controller instead of changing the P value. Okay, so you can see this time, it is getting better.
Now we change the proportional value again. To see whether there are some further improvement. We also change the integrate integrate value. Integral value. Now okay, so you can see right now the curve can reach uh ten the step ten at six seconds. 